Ages, God's creation was decisive. Beauty comes into the world when in the creation differences emerge. Differences in numbers, weights, forms, colors and sorts of light. Color, light, luminosity and splendor form part of the medieval beauty concept. Claritas or clarity is a prominent criterion of this concept. In medieval painting, social status is clearly brought into notice. Nobility is depicted with luxurious clothes. Textile was painted with expensive dyes. Pigments were used from furry countries, like the expansive lapis lazuli gemstones for the preparation of the color blue or ultramarine. Also purple was very costly. Of course, the poor population could not afford the brilliant clothing of the upper classes. They protected themselves against rain, cold or heat with raw, unpainted dress materials, usually brown or grey, often dirty and soiled. For medieval people, colours were burdened with symbolic meanings. The expansive colour blue becomes the colour of the Holy Virgin's coat. The mathematical calculations of the good body proportions reached the pinnacle in the Renaissance.
declining years of the Renaissance, a beauty concept develops which is connected with a new look upon human being. Up to the Renaissance, the world picture of Ptolemaeus was dominant. This view expresses a perfect order, the ideal of good proportion. Perfect order of celestial spheres with a joint center is undermined by the world picture of Copernicus. Not the Earth, but the Sun is at the center of the solar system. The order of the cosmos is not harmonic anymore and becomes confounded. For decades, Italy was afflicted by political disasters, corruption and violence. Economical bankruptcy was threatening. Calmness of spirit in study and research showed signs of melancholy, a sadness attended with reverie and contemplation. More and more, artists adopted a critical attitude towards a beauty concept based on good proportions. One of those artists is Michelangelo Buonarroti. Michelangelo made a distinction between beautifulness and ugliness. He was fascinated by these antipodes. Copernicus' idea of the world inflicted deep wounds in the thinking about order and harmony of the cosmos and the place of man in the world. In this time of confusion, commotion and agony, the concept of beauty becomes more complicated. This complexity is notable in mannerism, a period in European arts. No longer elegance and beauty are based on good proportions or harmony. Postures are artificial, twisted and movement is emphasized. The so-called figura serpentinata or serpentine figure finds general favor. Such a figure cannot be captured by pure forms like circle, triangle or square. The objective approach of rational order makes way for subjective criteria of beauty. This will lead to a manifold beauty concept, to aesthetics as a beauty doctrine and to the experience of taste. More and more in arts, a concept of beauty is pursued that runs counter to trusted principles. Caravaggio rejected the artificiality of mannerism. He searched for the truth. In that expedition, ugliness and dirt was not bypassed. The fruit on the painting of Bacchus is overripe, in point of rotting. The fingers of the boy, who is bitten by the lizard, are dirty. The flower in his hair and his naked shoulder indicate that he is a prostitute. The beauty of the Baroque is theatrical, sweeping and exuberant. Beauty is not serene, but intense. The lines of works of art are charged with tension, like the diagonals of the sculpture complex named the Ecstasy of Saint Teresa of Avila, the line from her face to the outmost edge of her dress, or the line from the angel's arrow to Teresa's hand. There is no question of dignity in the creases of her dress. The sculpture Bernini let the creases whirl and flutter to depict her state of mystical exaltation. The Baroque period ended far in the 18th century, and during this period other styles emerged. 
in particular the Rococo style, characterized by opulence, grace, playfulness and sensuousness. <laughs> Neoclassicism, emerging in the later 18th century, the extravagance of the Rococo was criticized. It was perhaps the revolt of the bourgeois against the luxury of nobility. <laughs> 